I don't know who said that it was okay to snow. Are you serious? <laughs> hey YouTube, it is Christina with Christina's 200. How are you guys doing? It is Fitness Week 5. So, let's jump into my week it my way in for the week. Here you go. Okay guys, so that is a 2.3 loss from last week. Pretty exciting. So last week I was at 347.7. This week I'm at 345.4. You know, it was really exciting to see the 345 because that's technically the 30 pounds. So I feel like you know, the point four, I still need to lose that to make it official. But 30 pounds is still pretty exciting. I'm very excited. You know, when you see those numbers start falling, it gets you more excited about wanting to lose weight. I mean, when the numbers are stagnant, you're just like, really? And honestly, I didn't expect those numbers. I didn't expect to lose over two pounds this week because... I mean, yesterday I had two McChickens. That was bad. And Sunday morning I went to Denny's. I got the value slam, so I didn't like go crazy. But um, I guess that was yesterday morning. So within the one day yesterday, I had the two pancakes. The, the eggs weren't bad, but I did have two sausage links. Um, and then two McChickens. And then I had some sandwiches later on that evening. So... You know, it is what it is. I am trying not to stress out too much. I do need to do better at what I'm eating, of course. But, um, I'm trying to find a good balance. I'm trying to also work out. So, I think that I did pretty good this week. Um, I had fun. I did go out, so I did also drink. <laughs> I had a couple beers. I had three beers, so... I will take this too. It, you know, the funny part is, is, is I seem to lose weight when I didn't think I was going to. I mean, of course I gain weight when I know I'm going to gain weight. So, I mean, that's not the factor, but anyway, fitness has definitely been something to keep me accountable and keep me going. Um, I definitely make better choices regardless if it's a bad choice. It's not as bad as it would have been because I'm guiding myself I'm watching everybody's stuff. I, I know that a lot of people are, <laughs> I've been getting comments on older stuff and it's like, oh, <laughs> it's because I'm just now getting around to watching those. <laughs> I am right now six days behind. I'm going through my subscription list and um, I'm about six days behind. It's like things that were posted six days ago is what I'm watching right now. So. I'm getting to everything I promise you guys, and I'm really excited. Everyone's doing great. Um, I will make sure to post everybody who is part of the fitness in the comment or in the description box. So make sure if you have not checked everybody out that you go check them out. There's a lot of positive people in there, everyone trying to hit the same uh, type of goals as, as we are. Uh, if you are new to my channel, welcome. Make sure you subscribe. Uh, we have gotten over the 100 subscriber mark, so I'm pretty excited about that. I know for some people that's just such a little goal, but for me it was like, oh, hey, 100. <laughs> um, but... I am really happy to be here and I think that this is a very important tool for weight loss. Um, having something that keeps you accountable, something that keeps you motivated is very important. So let's just keep going guys. Let's, uh, I still have a little bit of ways for my ultimate fitness goal. I, at this point, I believe I still have to lose, oh goodness. 20 pounds <laughs> so I've only lost five in four weeks 
but I'm not gonna let that stop me. I am the person during a football game when we're down by like 30 points or 20 points and we still only, and we're in the fourth quarter. I'm like, we could totally still do it, guys. You know, just a couple more touchdowns. It's kind of like, let's do in this short amount of time what we couldn't do in this large amount of time. But the thing about it is when you get put under the gun, when you get put like in a situation where it's now or never, sometimes you perform better. And so it's kind of like, Christina, wake up. <laughs> you need to get it together. So 20 pounds and oh, what is it? I guess I keep getting confused because I know that this is the beginning of Fitness 5. So technically we still have eight weeks. So, or is it seven? I don't know. Let's see. If I still have to do week five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, eight weeks. Hopefully that's correct math. Hopefully I wasn't supposed to be the end. No, this has got to be. Okay. Forgive me. Won't edit it either. You can see my my thought process here. So, eight weeks, 20 pounds, 20.4 pounds. We can do it. That's like less than three pounds a week, so it's definitely doable. I mean, I should be able to do, I don't even know what, let's do the exact math. I'm totally all about doing actual math and not using a calculator, but in this moment because I'm like here I know I could totally stop the video but we're not gonna do that that's no fun so, oh uh, Christina 2.5 pounds a week so two and a half pounds I just lost 2.4 so two and a half pounds a week for the rest of fitness and I'll have hit my goal of 25 pounds See, and for me, it just seems really weird that that's even, that I'm even in the running for that because four weeks have gone down. I guess it's that extra half pound. Anyway, I'm, I'm rambling. Let me end this for you guys. Make sure you comment below. Um, I enjoy having conversations with you guys and it really makes me happy that I can inspire people and help them and that you guys are on the same journey as I am and just knowing that we're all human we're making mistakes we're picking ourselves back up and we're continuing and I will talk to you guys later bye